welcome to Hear Tutoring. In this video, we're going to talk about the eight parts of speech. For each of the eight parts of speech, we will define it and go over some examples. So first, here are the eight parts of speech. Noun, verb, pronoun, adjective, adverb, conjunction, preposition, and interjection. Now, let's start with noun. What is a noun? A noun is basically a person, place, thing, or idea. Here are some examples. A person might be a teacher, a boy, a girl, a mom, David, Jill, the president, etc. A place might be the United States, a school, a field, a bathroom, Australia, etc. A thing might be a pen, a car, the moon, a toilet, etc. And an idea might be liberty, or bravery, or happiness, or fear, etc. Next, what is a verb? A verb is a word that expresses either an action or a state of being. Here are some examples. An action might be run, kick, jump, fly, fall, swim, etc. And a verb that has a state of being includes words like is, am, was, were, and are. Action verbs are words that convey doing something, and a state of being verb is a word that conveys, well, just being. The reason why our first two parts of speech are nouns and verbs is because nouns and verbs are the foundation of sentences, as well as the foundation of the English language itself. All complete sentences must include at least some kind of noun and some kind of verb. Next, let's talk about pronouns. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. Here are some examples of pronouns. He, him, his, she, her, it, they, many, few, all, everyone, nobody, anybody, etc. Instead of writing Jonathan every time, we can replace Jonathan with the pronoun he, both to save time and space and to add variety to sentences. Instead of writing the names of everyone in the room, we can replace this long list of names with just the pronoun everyone. Next, let's move on to adjectives. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word or phrase that describes a noun or a pronoun. Here are some examples of adjectives. Slow, intelligent, weird, lazy, athletic, gigantic, etc. If we said the slow turtle, the word slow is describing the noun turtle. If we said he is weird, the word weird is describing the pronoun he. Next up is adverbs. What is an adverb? An adverb is a word or phrase that modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. A lot of adverbs end in ly, such as quickly, beautifully, lazily, extravagantly, and strangely. If we said she runs quickly, the adverb quickly is modifying the word runs. Adverbs also answer the questions how, when, and where. For example, the ly adverbs that we just listed tell how something is done. Quickly tells us how she is running. Examples of adverbs that answer the question when are words like now, yesterday, and then. For example, in the sentence, I ran yesterday, yesterday tells us when I ran. Examples of adverbs that answer the question where are words like there, here, and away. For example, in the sentence, I ran there, there tells us where I ran. One thing we should be careful of with adverbs is that some prepositional phrases can also answer the questions how, when, and where. The difference between the two are that prepositional phrases will start with a preposition and adverbs will not. Moving on, what about conjunctions? What are conjunctions? Conjunctions are words that join words or groups of words. There are three categories of conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, and subordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions can be thought of as the fanboys conjunctions, where each of the letters in fanboys stands for each of the coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Correlative conjunctions are conjunctions that have two parts, such as either or, neither nor, or both and. Subordinating conjunctions begin subordinate clauses and are words like before, after, during, until, and whereas. For example, in the sentence, before the game, the team practiced the word before is the subordinating conjunction that begins the subordinate clause before the game. Up next are prepositions. What are prepositions? These are kind of confusing, so pay attention. Prepositions are words that show the relationship between a noun or a pronoun and other words in a sentence. They can express a relationship in terms of space, time, or logic. Examples of prepositions that express a relationship in terms of space 
are in, below, above, under, outside, and within. An easy way to think of spatial prepositions is to think of where something can be in relationship to the box. We can say that something is in the box, below the box, above the box, under the box, outside the box, and within the box. Examples of prepositions that express a relationship in terms of time are during, while, after, and at. For example, in the sentence, I did my homework after I ate, the preposition after tells us when I did my homework. This is different from an adverb because something comes after the preposition here, and also the preposition relates two different things in the sentence. Examples of prepositions that express a relationship in terms of logic are words like for, of, concerning, and despite. For example, in the sentence, I bought groceries for my mother, the preposition for tells us why I bought groceries. Finally, we have interjections. What are interjections? Interjections are words used to convey emotion through some kind of exclamation. Some examples of interjections are, oh, ouch, whoa, and blah. You can just insert these words anywhere in the sentence, and they'll convey some kind of abrupt emotion. So now you know the eight parts of speech. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe to support and stay updated.